Neurons in the visual cortex have a limited field of view called the receptive field. Thus, to represent a full image, we need many neurons, each focusing on a small, different portion of the image. But what happens when inside this small field of view, there is no useful information? What happens to the response of neurons when their receptive field is occluded? To answer this question, we recorded the response of neurons in the primary visual cortex of macaque monkeys. We trained two macaques to fixate on the center of a screen while pictures of scenes were shown. Half of the scenes had a portion of the image occluded by a white rectangle. And we recorded from neurons whose receptive fields were situated inside the rectangle. We then looked at the difference in response between different images. And we used decoding to understand their representation. Even when neurons had no way of knowing what image was shown, because the rectangle in their receptive field was always the same, we could still decode what image was shown from the neurons' activity. How do they know what is shown outside their receptive field? Neurons share information between each other but it takes some time for it to travel from one neuron to another. We therefore looked at the difference between responses to different occluded images. If the difference emerges after a long time and is proportional to the distance to the border, then this means that the source of information is many neurons away in the same cortical region. But if the difference emerges after a short time and is independent from the distance to the border of the rectangle, then the source is more likely to be a higher cortical region, where neurons have larger receptive fields that can see both the rectangle and the rest of the picture. Our results were in line with the second possibility, suggesting that neurons in the primary visual cortex receive information about the visual context from high-level neurons.